Good day everyone. My topic for today is multiplication of algebraic expression. Binomial by trinomial. We can multiply binomial by trinomial by using the distributive property. We can also use the rectangular method to multiply the polynomials. We can use the vertical method to multiply these polynomials. The file method, we cannot apply it here because there are more than two terms in trinomial. An example of the distributive property of the polynomials is the quantity 2x minus 3 multiplied by the quantity 4x squared plus x minus 6. We will distribute it to 2x times 4x squared plus 2x times x plus 2x mi times minus negative 6. Wait. I'm sorry. My negative 3 times 4x squared negative 3 times 4x negative 3 times 6. So if we multiply that all, the result would be 8x squared plus 2x, 8x cubed plus 2x squared minus 12x minus 12x squared minus 3x plus 18. We will, simpli we will simplify all of that. So the result would be 8x squared, 8x cubed minus 10x squared minus 15x plus 18. So that is our product. An example of rectangular method of multiplying polynomials. We will multiply five positive 5x to positive 2x squared. So the result would be 10x cubed. Then we will multiply 5x to positive 10x. The result would be 50x squared. And we'll multiply 5x to negative 6. The result would be negative 6x. So we will multiply next is the positive 3 times 2x squared. The result would be 6x squared. Then we will multiply positive 3 to positive 10x. The result would be 30x. And then we will multiply lastly the 10 positive 3 times negative 6, the result would be negative 18. So to find the product, add all the similar terms inside the rectangle and simplify if necessary. So 10x cubed plus 6x squared plus 50x squared plus 30x minus 30x minus 18. So we will simplify all of that. So the result would be 10x cubed plus 56x squared minus 18. An example of vertical method in polynomials, x squared plus 3x minus 5 and x minus 2. So we will multiply 2 to x squared plus 3x minus 5. So the result would be negative x, negative 2x squared minus 6x plus 10. So next, we will multiply x to x, x squared plus 3x minus 5. So the result would be x cubed plus 3x squared minus 5. We will align the similar terms. So the result would be x cubed plus x squared minus 11x plus 10. And that's all. Thank you. I never made it, but I know I did.